advance of the 143rd annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, which will be held Monday and Tuesday, February 11th and 12th, the club held a press conference to introduce two new breeds that will be competing this year, as well as three varieties and two sizes of dachshunds to celebrate the 76 dachshunds among the 2,800 dogs competing at the dog show. Let's introduce our guest dogs. Dachshunds, dozens of dachshunds, this is a tough one. Dozens of dachshunds are descending on Manhattan for the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show this year. You will see 76 of them in two sizes and three varieties. The smooth, long-haired, and wire-haired dachshund, all members of the hound group. Dachshunds were bred to hunt badgers. They're low and long and well suited for below ground work. They're well balanced, bold, and possess a keen hunting spirit, a good nose, a loud tongue, and a distinctive build. They've been among the most popular dogs in the city and the nation for decades. Who doesn't love a wiener dog? Dachshunds appeared at the first Westminster Dog Show in 1877 and have won the Hound Group nine times, but have yet to capture Best in Show. Maybe this year is the year for the feisty hound to be top dog. First, we have the Smooth Dachshund. Each variety of this breed comes in two sizes, Miniature, which is up to 11 pounds, and Standard, which is from 16 to 32 pounds. The main difference in the varieties is the coat. Smooths are known for their short, smooth, and shining coat. They are the original coat variety. Next, we have the long-haired dachshund. The sleek, glistening, often slightly wavy hair is longer under the neck, the forechest, the underside of the body, the ears, and behind the legs. This coat variety gives the dog an elegant appearance and was protective to colder temperatures when hunting. It appears we have a lot of red dachshunds, but they come in many colors. <laughs> Black and tan is also very popular. Red is the classic color. Finally, we have the wire-haired dachshund. With its exception of jaw, eyebrows, and ears, the whole body is covered with a uniform, tight, rough outer coat with a fine, shorter undercoat distributed between its coarser hairs. Yes, this also comes in the standard size. Our standard today couldn't make it. But we think this miniature size is representing quite well. And now we'll have all the dachshunds line up. Get a group photo. the dachshunds this year are two debut breeds new to Westminster. The Grand Basset Griffon Vendillon and the Nederlands of Quaker Hunja. Try saying that three times. Right. <laughs> the Grand Basset Griffon Vendillon, who will be coming up next, was bred as a rabbit hunter in France. His name translates to the large, low, shaggy dog of Vendée. The GBGV possesses great stamina, speed, and courage. They're intelligent, friendly pack dogs that get along well with other dogs. They will join the Hound Group and the Dachshunds on Monday night. This is Buzz Lightyear. He is four years old. Also debuting this year is the Nederlands of Quaker Hunja. Oh wait, he, wa he wants to Kate take the stage with him. Thank you. A favorite of Dutch nobility, this breed originated hundreds of years ago in Europe as a duck hunter. Outdoors, this alert sporting dog is keen, swift, and attentive. He enjoys working and does so with a cheerful character. In the home, he is faithful, easygoing, and friendly. The breed will join the sporting group on Tuesday night. This is Bandit, a two-year-old Quaker. Just stay there. 
And now we'll line them up together so you can have both new breeds. And of course, when we say new breeds, we mean newly eligible to show at Westminster. These are actually breeds that have been around for quite some time.